welcome to our annual College of Natural Sciences Welcome Day. My name is Taha Elwar. I am a senior majoring in chemistry and I'm also the president of the College of Natural Sciences Student Ambassadors. The Natural Sciences Student Ambassadors is an organization on campus that is led by high achieving students in our college. Our purpose is to inspire and lead incoming students as they progress through their journey in their undergraduate career. Today, we will be sharing a tour of our college, including introductions from each of our departments, so you can meet some of your professors. About halfway through the tour, we will take a quick break to meet in breakout rooms, play a few games, and give you a chance to meet other students and student ambassadors. Then, we will turn here to finish up the tour before hearing from our associate dean. As you are watching the tour, please feel free to leave any comments or ask any questions that come up in our general chat channel. These can be questions about the buildings, your major, or simply getting started as a NatSci student. We have ambassadors, advisors, and faculty online ready to respond. Without further ado, let's get started with the tour, beginning with Sinclair. This library houses the Pre-Health, Pre-Law Advising Center, which gives free advising for students interested in law or health careers. Sinclair Library houses the Advising Center for the College of Natural Sciences, which has six advisors ready to help the 2,000 students in our college. Our college is made up of the School of Life Sciences and four departments, Chemistry, Mathematics, Information and Computer Sciences, and Physics and Astronomy. With all that great info in mind, let's hear what the Advising Center staff have to offer to our students. Welcome to the College of Natural Sciences Student Academic Success Center. We provide academic advising for students in the College of Natural Sciences. If you're majoring in any of our School of Life Sciences majors, including biology, botany, marine biology, microbiology, and molecular cell biology, we'll be your one-stop shop for your advising needs. For students majoring in astronomy, astrophysics, physics, chemistry, biochemistry, mathematics, or information and computer sciences, we provide college advising within a dual advising system. That dual advising basically means you'll have two types of advisors, a major advisor and a college advisor. Our areas of expertise are different, but our goals are the same, to help you succeed while you're here and beyond graduation. Typically, you'd come to our office in Sinclair 301 for advising and other services. To allow for less in-person contact during the pandemic, we've moved all of our services online and encourage you to stay safe and take advantage of these online options. We know this is going to be a very different fall semester than any of us have experienced or were expecting, but your advisors are here to help you navigate this new year and new college experience. Speaking of, let's meet the NatSci advisors and staff. Hello, my name is Stephanie Kraft Terry. I'm the Director of Advising for the College of Natural Sciences here at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I'm excited to work with you all as you get started at the university. Welcome to the college. Hi, I'm Rano Kuchiwara. I'm one of the academic advisors for the College of Natural Sciences. I advise um, biology, marine biology, botany, and um, I'm a college advisor for, the, um, for computer science and information in computer science. Um, I look forward to meeting you all. Hello, my name is Solimar. I'm one of the academic advisors here at the College of Natural Sciences. I advise the following majors, biology, marine biology, botany, and I also do college advising for computer science and information computer science majors. I look forward to working with you in this upcoming year. See ya. Hi guys, I'm Kiana Dizan and I am an advising assistant to the NatSci SASE office. If you ever send an email to our main inbox, you can expect to get a response from me. Or if you sign up in our virtual kiosk, you will also be meeting with me. Um, I mainly help out your college advisors with any back-end responsibilities, approving any major paperwork, removing holds. Um, so that's me. If you have any general questions, need to talk to someone, need to get in touch with someone, I'm here for you guys. So just send me an email or sign up in the kiosk. It was nice meeting you all and I look forward to seeing you guys online. Hi everyone, my name is Julie and I'm one of your academic advisors in the College of Natural Sciences Student Academic Success Center. I'm currently advising biology, microbiology, molecular cell biology, physics, astrophysics, astronomy, chemistry, biochemistry, and math majors. I'm excited to meet you. And I'm Maria. 
Like Julia, I advise biology majors, last names I through Z, molecular cell biology majors, microbiology majors, and then I'm a college advisor to those majoring in chemistry, biochemistry, physics, astronomy, astrophysics, and mathematics. We're all looking forward to meeting you or continuing to work with you this semester. If you have any questions or want to meet with an advisor, you can find our website here. And on that website, you can find our individual contact information as well as our front desk contact information, and you can schedule an appointment. Any questions, any concerns you might have, we're here to help. So please reach out. Enjoy the rest of the tour. Hi, everyone. My name is Vincent. I'm a fourth year majoring in biology. I'm also the secretary for the Natural Sciences Student Ambassadors. Behind me is the Life Sciences Building. This building is located at the Diamond Head end of McCarthy Mall and is conveniently located next to Paradise Palms and Hamilton Library. Being three stories tall, the Life Sciences Building features state-of-the-art labs, six of which are teaching labs and 15 are research labs. The Life Sciences Building also features a 600 square foot student collaboration area 52 grad student workstations, five conference rooms, and 28 faculty offices. Here to show us around inside the building is Clifford Morden, director of the School of Life Sciences. Aloha, my name is Cliff Morden. I'm director of the School of Life Sciences, and I'm standing outside here in front of the new Life Sciences building. Um, let's go inside, it's kind of noisy out here. When you applied to come to UH, uh, you probably applied to the biology department or the botany department or the microbiology department. Uh, since then, just like earlier this year, uh, the three departments merged into a single unit. That's the School of Life Sciences. And uh, so this is a kind of a growing period for us as well as a growing period for you too. Um, there's five majors within the School of Life Sciences. So botany, biology, microbiology, uh, also marine biology and molecular cell biology. So all five of these are uh, opportunities within our school to learn, grow, and prepare yourself for your future. Um, there are, the, the facilities here, are, we're kind of spread out over several different buildings. Uh, the Life Sciences Building, where I'm at right now, is the newest building, and uh, it was just opened up, GADS, yeah, about a month ago. And so we're still kind of moving into it, uh, starting to learn a little bit more about the, the facilities and, and what goes on in here. So I'll give you a little quick tour of it. It's a pretty cool place, a very modern uh, place to have our uh, rooms and so forth. The entrance to the building is this uh, facility for undergraduates to gather and to sit, study, uh, talk with each other, um, use the whiteboards on the walls to write notes or work out problems. Uh, whatever the case might be. So this is a, a nice, comfortable place to aggregate. So you can see uh, bright windows, lots of places to sit and study uh, or gather. Um, and some of the other rooms around here are the laboratories. So if you're taking a microbiology or a biology laboratory, you might be in this room here. Uh, so this is the uh, one of the microbiology labs that you can see and as I mentioned it's also just getting moved into we like we just started moving the stuff over here just the last week and uh, so they're still getting things kind of put away and ready for the class semester to start. This is one of the research labs and uh, you can see it's also still in the pro process of getting set up but they're also still starting some experiments and getting things underway for their research. They have some process going on over here and so forth. So uh, people are starting to get set up in their laboratories and, and as you start going through your program, uh, you'll probably find that there's lots of opportunities for research as an undergrad, doing internship or other work with some of the professors in our building here. The other buildings that we have here for the life sciences are the St. John Laboratory Building and also the Edmondson uh, Laboratory Building, which is uh, the hub for our department, our program. Um, Edmondson 216 is the office for uh, the school. And if you have any questions or need any help and guidance, uh, that's the place to go. And um, there's the staff there that can help you find what you need and get you sorted out. 
There's also the advising office, which I'm sure you'll hear more about uh, associated with this recording as well. We have faculty in all the different disciplines that we ha I had mentioned earlier. Uh, so um, faculty come from a, a number of different disciplines and also they cross over into multiple disciplines. We have some faculty that were uh, in the biology as well as microbiology programs or botany and biology or botany and microbiology so uh, and marine biology. So uh, wide ranges of experiences among the faculty. The different areas that they study include ecology and evolution, uh, molecular biology, systematics, um, evolutionary studies with systematics, uh, looking at the phylog phylogenetic relationships among organisms, uh, the biogeography of, of organisms, how they move about the islands or around the world, um, and uh, all the way down to looking at cell and molecular issues and, and uh, studies associated with that. Uh, one professor working on immunology, which is also uh, quite important right about now with the COVID crisis and learning how to combat that. Um, so we have a huge breadth of experience within our faculty and uh, they're all here to help you, guide you and direct you in uh, choosing your career and helping to establish you uh, in the discipline that you hope to make your life's lifelong dream. Um, so feel free to come by and visit uh, during the course of the semester. Uh, if we can do anything to help you, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Um, there's lots of faculty here that are willing to support, help, and answer any questions that you might have. And as I mentioned, there's lots of opportunities for getting involved in research projects uh, with our faculty as well. And so don't hesitate on that uh, to get involved and uh, become uh, more intricately associated with some of the processes and, and disciplines that, were, uh, avail that are available to us here. Um, and uh, like I said, we're here to help and uh, feel free to drop me a line or ask questions anytime. Thank you and have a great semester. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a biochemistry major and currently going into my fourth year here at UH Manila. I'm also the vice president of the Natural Sciences Student Ambassadors. Here is Edmonton Hall. If you're taking any type of biology course or if you're majoring in biology, this is the place to be. So starting from the bottom up, here is the first floor where all undergraduate labs are conducted. One tip I have for you all is that when you walk through these doors, you are prepared. With a lab coat, long pants, closed toed shoes, and a completed lab notebook ready to go. These labs are a group of people like myself who work very well when we take what we learn in the lecture halls and apply it to hands-on experiments and demonstrations. Fun fact, here on this first floor, we have a fish museum where we have a collection of marine life stored behind this door. This allows researchers to come down and request samples from all around the Pacific. So here on the second floor is where you can find a lot of your upper level biology lab courses. Many of these lab courses will be relocated to the New Life Sciences building, however many will still remain here. Have questions or concerns about your class? Come up to the third and fourth floor and ask your biology professors yourself. The third and fourth floor has your biology professor offices and graduate research labs. I strongly encourage attending office hours if you feel like you need help. In my experience, I found the most improvement in my studies when I was able to talk through the concepts I was struggling with and get direct feedback from them. The third floor is also where the Sea Pages program is located. This program allows freshman students the opportunity to conduct research in their first year. Now let's take a look at Builder Hall and Builder Edition right across with us. Hi everyone, my name is Angela Phillips, and in addition to being a senior majoring in biology, I am also one of your Natural Science Student Ambassadors for the year. We're currently here in front of Bilger Hall, which is home to the university's chemistry department, so let's get to know the building together. The first floor of Bilger Hall is dedicated to general chemistry classes, such as Chemistry 131, 161 and 162. At the end of the corridor is the Bilger Edition, where general chemistry laboratories take place. During summer school, I spent many hours at the Learning Emporium, 
On the second floor of the Builder Edition, an incredible resource for anyone in need of tutoring for chemistry, mathematics, ICS, and physics. Shane Gettle will be providing us with a tour of the inside of the Kaiser Laboratory in Builder 301. Hello, my name is Shane Gettle. I'm a chemistry grad student here at UH Manoa. I've been here for about a year now. I'm originally from Wisconsin, uh, and so I'm just about to start my second year here. Um, I do research in Dr. Kaiser's group. We focus on astrochemistry. Uh, so we look at reaction mechanisms, barriers, intermediates of chemical reactions that happen in space. And so I will be showing you around my lab so you can get an idea of what we do here. This is the Keck Laboratory in Astrochemistry. And here to talk about it is the Assistant Director, Dr. Andrew Turner. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Shane. I'm going to show you today the Keck Laboratory in Astrochemistry. Here we simulate ice chemistry in space, specifically modeling interstellar ices. The way we simulate this is by simulating the temperatures in space as cold as 5 Kelvin, as well as ultra-high vacuum pressures. That's 10 to the negative 13th atmospheres, very low pressures. In this machine, we deposit ice at very cold temperatures, and then we subject those ices to energetic electrons. That simulates galactic cosmic rays in space. That initiates chemistry, and from that, we can try to deduce what chemistry happens in space in the interstellar medium. We use techniques such as mass spectrometry, infrared spectroscopy, and in particular, we use YAG lasers to selectively ionize our products. We see back here YAG lasers that pump dye lasers. We combine these, they undergo four-wave mixing. We bring them into the machine and as the ice is sublime, as we warm them up, we can individually detect them by tuning our lasers to certain energies so that our machine only sees very specific molecules. And so it's a very impressive machine, as you will see here, the control panels back here, and it helps us understand what sort of chemistry happens in space in the ice space. So here we have the levitator. And so we can use acoustics to levitate particles with this machine. And so on the bottom, there's a piezoelectric transducer. And on the top, there's a reflector. And so we can create sound waves that go back and forth to create a standing wave. And we can levitate droplets of liquid uh, on that standing wave. So essentially it is floating in a medium of air or whatever gases we have inside the chamber. There are no surface interactions, and so we can study you know, chemistry that way. And so we can use a laser right here, a CO2 laser. We can shoot that inside the chamber and initiate a reaction of whatever droplet we have suspended. For example, we've done uh, reactions with JP-10 jet fuel, and so we can shoot the laser in and cause a combustion reaction to happen. Here is the cross-molecular beams machine. We use it to simulate gas phase chemistry that goes on in the interstellar medium. So to do that, we have two supersonic molecular beams that intersect at 90 degrees uh, under single collision conditions. Uh, that way we can simulate individual reactions between molecules that may be in the interstellar medium. And so we detect these products using mass spectrometry in a very, very low pressure environment, uh, about 10 to the minus 15 atmospheres. And we can use this to explain how molecules in the interstellar medium are formed and the implications therein. That concludes the first half of our tour. 
Before we continue the tour, we'll break out into different rooms to meet other students and student ambassadors. What room you decide to join is up to you. If you're looking for a bit of trivia, you can join our Kahoot room. If you're looking for some friendly, creative competition, try our meme competition room. Or if you're just looking to casually interact with other students, ask some questions about the tour or starting out your first year at UH Manoa, join our student lounge. We'll meet back here in a bit to meet the departments of physics and astronomy, mathematics and information and computer sciences.